Merry Christmas, everybody. A little bit different video today for Hooligan than what I normally do, but I wanted to speak to uh, something that's kind of close to my heart, uh, especially since I was just thinking about this after wrapping a gift, gift uh, for my nephew. So Christmas season is upon us, and if you're like me, you kind of complain about the lack of models, the lack of hobby shops, uh, the lack of selection out there, and just the hobby in general starting to dwindle down uh, because of the advent of technology for kids. So this got me thinking, uh, something that I've always always kind of done, but uh, wanted to make sure I pointed out um, in case you just hadn't thought of it. What are you doing to get the next generation involved? This is the perfect time of year to be thinking about the future of not just the modeling hobby, but um, really any hobby that's kind of dwindling out. Um, it's hard to keep up or hard to compete with um, electronic devices, but creativity is always there and always will be there. So, you know, with that special child in your life, whether it be your kid, another kid, uh, a friend's kid, whatever it might be, have you thought about and did you go out and purchase something to extend to them a olive branch into our world. Um, it's not as easy as it used to be, but you, you know, a few tips that I might give, um, like with my nephew, he's into things that I'm not into as far as cars go, like um, modern cars, modern pickups, Jeeps, things like that. So I went out and bought him one of the new Jeep Wrangler kits um, to, to get him to remember. It's not about what you're into. It's about what they're into and trying to, um, even though it may not be your cup of tea, getting them into it. Like I'm into Duesenberg's 30s, 40s models, car, cars more than I am anything else. But it might be that they're into Gundam. They're into airplanes. They're in whatever it might be, even if it's not your cup of tea, at least you're getting them into your world a little bit. So that is my recommendation. The other thing is, um, you can't fight technology, so why try? Get them, uh, get them involved with the technology. Uh, incorporate the uh, technology if you can. Like for example, maybe it's just as simple as giving them the kit and then um, showing them on Instagram all the cool things that people create uh, with their imagination. You know, there's some great uh, websites out there, some great uh, Instagram posts where they show you, uh, where they they have details of things like, you know, making braided hoses or, um, you know, whatever it might be, hydraulics, uh, low rider parts, uh, smoke coming out of jets. Um, I saw one the other day of a beautiful diorama of the Hindenburg going down, although no kid today is going to know what the Hindenburg is, but at least that, gi that gives you a, um, you know, a basis to relate to them and bring it into the modern technology world. So instead of fighting technology, embrace it. Show them websites where they can buy kits, buy uh, paints, buy whatever it might be, uh, mega t mega t hobbies, uh, you know, tower hobbies, whatever. Uh, any of the great websites that are out there. The other thing that I did um, this year, and I've done two years ago, I didn't do it last year, but I did it two years ago, um, I donate to uh, a lot of uh, children's charities around Christmas time, Toys for Tots, things like that. And I did a uh, toy drive this year, and I went out and bought uh, ten model kits to give away or to uh, uh, throw in a um, collection box for toy for kids. Um, I don't have any B-roll footage of that because I, I think videotaping yourself doing um, uh, goodwill work is just kind of. You know, it's kind of tacky and it's just not who I am, but I did do it. Um, one thing that to remember there is these kids uh, don't have a lot of money. So chances are they're not going to have paints, glues, exacto uh, knives, uh, or even father figures or mother figures for that matter to um, help them build the models. So I went out and bought uh, some snap type uh, models. Uh, and threw them in there. Um, it gets them a chance to kind of see our world a little bit. They don't need batteries. They don't need electronics. And they don't need special supplies. They can put it together. Then 
maybe that gets them in the direction of uh, keeping up our hobby. <clears throat> All this I say because we need involvement from the future. We really do. Um, like I said, you know how it is out there with model kits uh, in the car world. There's just a lack of enthusiasm from the manufacturers. It's getting a, to be a smaller shrinking pie. And if we can do anything, no matter how minuscule it might seem, if enough of us get out there and make an impact sooner or later, it might come back around to where we get more, uh, uh, more models, more kits, um, and a, just a better selection of new innovative technology. Um, you know, one thing also to, uh, you know, for the kid in your life that um, you give a model to um, that has the means to put it together with exacto knives, paint, et cetera, et cetera. You know, show them uh, what the world of um, 3D printing can do, resin printers or, um, in particular. Um, it really helps them take technology and combine it with creativity in a, in a meaningful way. Um, I built models for like so many of us for many, many, many years without any kind of uh, 3D printing. And when I first brought my, when I bought my first 3D printer, I thought, eh, you know, it's kind of taken away the from the creativity, but no, it actually it took my creativity and expanded it to a whole new horizon. I know a lot of people, especially the old older crowd in there, even though I'm fairly fucking old, but the really old crowd really cringe at it. But that's just because they don't understand the technology and they're unwilling to change with the time with the times. And that is what is killing our hobby, quite frankly. Um, because if you can show a child like you can take a model car, and then you can print out, um, I'm not going to get one out now, but you can print out speakers. You know, they're into the big woofers and speakers like that. You can print it out and make custom designs on it. Uh, make uh, plaques if you're into low riders, uh, low riding plaques with your name on it uh, to put in the back window of a car. That is really cool shit that was very difficult when I was young. Um, but as times change and iPads and this, that, and the other, uh, computers and cell phones, for that matter, become more prevalent. Um, these kids are, uh, that's the direction they want to go. They like to be create, creative on a computer level. So again, integrate that with your gift giving and get them excited. Get the, Show them what they can do. You know, like I said, jump on Instagram and look at all the cool stuff out there and just take the time to sit them down and say, here's a model kit. I would, you know, if you want to build it, here it is. And then, like I said, sh pull up the internet and show them what some cool things people are doing out there. Because there's some amazing things that were not possible 10 years ago, let alone 20 years ago. So anyways, in closing, hope everyone has a happy holidays. I hope uh, you take something away from this video. And if you would, give me a like and a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you next time. Merry Christmas.